is Kenneth Paul from mm -hmm. Detroit Workers for Environmental Justice. Okay, why don't you tell us a little bit about your program and what do you do, sir? Okay, again, my name is Kenneth Paul. I'm coming from Detroit. that's working for Environmental Justice, and um, I'm the job developer for the Green Jobs Training Program. Um, Detroit is working for environmental justice is a non-profit organization that's uh, been in inception since 1994 to organize uh, communities and individuals and community organizations to empower and educate, advocate for cleaner, healthier, and greener um, communities in Southeast Michigan. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, um, we are. I'm here speaking on behalf of our Green Jobs Training Program, but that is not the only program that we have at um, Detroit is working for environmental justice. We have um, four different programs that we're running concurrently, in which um, we're all working hand in hand with one another. Um, other than Green Jobs, we have our Build Up Detroit program that is based around the sustainability um, sustainability um, principles and things that all encompassing the three st three legged stool type of issues where we want to take care of the environment, the people in the environment, and the business. So um, those are the principles in which um, the Build Up Detroit program embodies and try to engage people through civic engagement, of course, and uh, a lot of variety of. Um, different organizing and vehicles that they use. Um, okay. Then we have our Youth on Patrol Against Pollution program, the YOPAP um, program, in yes. which the students are between the ages of 16 and 18. Uh, and they basically, you know, have a lot of different programs where they engage into in the summer. I believe this summer these guys will be doing a lot of different programs, starting like um, building up shelters and things like that on Belle Isle this summer. So they have a variety of different aspects of things that they work on and do throughout the year. Um, and then again, you bring us back to Green Jobs. <laughs> and that's my forte, and I can speak specifically into that aspect of it. Part of the premise of what the Green Party is about, too. We believe in, and we want to see groups like Detroit Workers for Environmental Justice, we want to see them scaled up citywide. It's one of the reasons why I'm running for city council. And yes, I turned in my petitions along with my colleague, Derek Grisby. So we're hoping that you're going to take a look at us, and we want to partner with groups like this out here, because there are solutions. I know these economic times seem dire, but I I believe personally from an economic from an environmental standpoint by going green we're going to contract and expand the economy I know you've heard about the healthcare industry is doing okay in Detroit but this green economy it can really create thousands of businesses and potentially tens of thousands of jobs wouldn't you agree sir oh more most definitely most definitely that was the whole reason that this program came about um, what it, what it, which our first program successfully uh, had a hundred percent job placement for over 21 employees Wow uh, and trainees that graduated. Um, so there are jobs available in this um, area of business. Um, what we're trying to do is um, make sure that people in our community are getting on these jobs and these projects that you see coming Correct. through. Yes. And what we hear is um, one of our one of my office mates from our program manager, she always says, before we green up, we have to clean up. And um, in Detroit, we have over 40,000 brownfields. Oh, wow. And the type of people that were receiving the work or getting those jobs in our community was not us. Okay. So that pro the program came about because we were searching out or um, our executive director looked for a program to help get people trained in these jobs because these jobs were coming and they are coming down the pipeline. They've been around for years, things like lead abatement, um, yes. asbestos removal, mold remediation, and things yes. like that. These are everyday things that you encounter every day. Correct. And um, with those processes, when you saw people coming into our community doing the work, it wasn't us. Correct. So now, um, you know, the, the excuse was, uh, well, we would come. We would hire Detroiters, but yeah, either a, trained. they're not trained, b, they're before. druggies, <laughs> right. and c, just not gonna show up. <laughs> We're not gonna come That's to work. Correct. And what our program does is try to break and dispel all these myths and rumors. Mm -hmm. We want right. to break all those down. And, and we, at the end of the day, with my job as being job developer, when I take an employee or trainee to an interview or to a certain contractor, I can say with the utmost confidence that this person is not on drugs. He has been drug tested for the past 16 weeks. Um, he's had an attendance policy in which he's been held accountable for being there, on, not only just being there on time, but being there every day. Yes, sir. You know, um, our trainees receive $100 stipend per week. And as a job incentive, you know, you want to have your $100 check just like uh, you punch the clock and <laughs> you punch Correct. the clock. You right. know, if you're not there on time, you don't get paid. You don't get paid for that time that you're not there. Well, so I can I have records where I can show that hey, this trainee has been here. This person right. has committed Excellent. himself that to changing 
all these thought process that, that people have really about us. Brother. Well, waiting on your calls. Let me just tell you a little bit something too. I want to give out the Green Party's information too. You can reach us here at uh, on the web at michigangreens.org or you can reach us at detroitgreens.org. And if you want to send in a donation or just write to us, you can reach us at Green Detroit now. That's PO box 02716 Detroit, Michigan. That's Green Detroit now. PO box 02716 Detroit, Michigan 48202. Our telephone number is 313-580-4905. Let's go ahead and take another call. All right. Thank you for holding caller. You're on the air. Hi, how you doing? All right. You know how you doing, Ann? Hi. All right, how you doing, brother? This is the Candleman. Hey, what's up, hey, Candleman? How you Ian. doing, sir? Hey, good to see y'all on TV. Oh, oh yes. Hey, I'm glad oh, yeah. on there. Good oh, yeah. To hear I was you. calling in. I just wanted to ask what was the uh, I didn't get his name. I wrote all the information down. This so is Mr. Kenneth Paul. Say yes. One more you want to spell that for him too, brother? Uh, that's Kenneth, K I N N U S, and yeah. Paul is the last name, P A U L. And what's your question, Candleman? Well, I, 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 I'm very interested in that uh, and, and passing that on to a, a couple of young guys that's out there in the, in the street. And uh, uh, I just want to uh, say it's a good program, sound like a good program, you know, and I just want to get all the information down to pass it on, you know, because we need, we need programs like this for the uh, the city of Detroit. Yes, to, we do. To get these guys out the street. Guys and, and gals. And you got yes, to have sir. some, you know, to offer them to get them out the street. And That's correct. Offer them nothing, they ain't coming out the street. That's so correct. I think this is a good program. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. You know? Well, we know you. You're good at getting the word out, so we'll count on you, count on And we got some flyers and stuff down here at the station, too, so I know you're always in and out down here. So that's fabulous. You want to spread the word and have right. a few more people call in. So. Okay. Now, and say that to give, for folks who uh, didn't hear it, say that name again, and I'm going to hang up. Okay. That's Detroit is working Thanks, for. Ken. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's Detroit is working for environmental justice, green jobs training okay. program. Again. Well, well, one of the things that I want to advocate, sir, and I hope this answers your question a little bit more directly as a city council person, should I get elected to council, is that I want to legislate green laws on the books so it can begin to create the work so that groups like Detroit Workers for Environmental Justice can do the job training to give people the jobs because in order to get the jobs, you got to have the work for the jobs. And there's tons of work to be done if we can get the legislation on the books. The money is there because, for example, let's say we had to put solar panels on Cobo Hall. All of the DPS schools had to have them. And, you know, we legislated this. In 10 years, all of the city uh, fleet of vehicles had to be electrified. Mm -hmm. It would it would create economic boom yes, in this city, sir. Yes, so that's the kind of vision that I'm hoping that the mayor and the incoming city, city council, excuse me, will begin to start thinking in those terms, okay? Thank you so much. All right. On the show today. That's myself right here. I'm Mr. Clyde Shabazz, ma'am. You have a question for me? Uh, yes, I wanted to know what do you want to do to improve um, the city other than what you're talking about right now is wonderful. Anything else? Any other points? Well, I've got some other talking points as well and some other things that we can do. But I know as a centerpiece of my campaign, I do want to highlight the green movement and going green for this city and making us healthier and contracting uh, with the green jobs and the businesses to help spur the economy. Uh, I have some other areas with education. Uh, I believe any Detroiter who wants to go to college for two years should be able to go because – we're transitioning, not just we here in Detroit, but the whole state. That's why Michigan is in dire straits right now. Mm -hmm. We're transitioning from an automobile and labor-based economy to mm -hmm. one that's going towards a, a knowledge-based economy and technology. And people okay. should be given the opportunity to go back to school for two years. I don't care if they're 18 to 30 or in their 40s, 50s, or 60s. Mm -hmm. Two years is not a long time. I brought an article here tonight of a woman who's graduating with her two daughters from U of M. She's 61 years wow. old, okay? Yeah. So, I mean, all Detroiters, it's time for us to step up to the plate and all of us to improve this city, whatever age you are. And part okay. of that is retraining and getting yourself qualified to do mm. something, be it in the green industry, the healthcare industry, the new jobs that are coming, and that sort of thing, okay? All right. Okay, well, you have my vote. All right. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for your